Well, all the rage used to be tennis, but let's talk an indoor favorite, racquetball. The 7th Annual Sweet Caroline Open is gearing up for later this spring. Before that, there's an event uh, for racquetball lovers as well. And joining me now with more on the tournament is Sweet Caroline President Jacob and professional racquetball player Jessica. Thank you guys both so much for being here. Hi, Thank thanks for inviting us. Of course. So before we have the Sweet Caroline Open, we have the Greenville Open. Can you talk to me a little bit about that, Jacob? Yeah, certainly. So the Greenville Open is a two-day event, uh, March 18th and 19th, and it's really kind of a locals event. Uh, but we do get a lot of players that come in from Charleston, Columbia, Charlotte, and Atlanta. Uh, so it's really kind of a tri-state uh, tournament uh, over two days. And talk to me about skill level. Do we have yeah. to be a professional to play? No, you don't. You can have all skill levels at this, uh, this event. You will see some at the highest level, and you will see some that uh, just started playing. So we really do uh, try to include all levels in this event. Awesome. And, I mean, speaking of a higher level, we are joined with Jessica here. Talk to me about when you started playing racquetball and why you love racquetball. Well, I started playing almost uh, 17 years ago. So wow. I started when I was very young. And racquetball is a, such a fun sport, and I feel it's, like, very complete. You need to develop all your skills. So it's very fun. Uh, the South Carolina Open is one of my favorite tournaments. And I hope people can go because they can be able to see the highest level in the world mm -hmm. on the pros. So there's girls from all around the world playing uh, with all the heart, with all the passion. And it's a good opportunity for take your kids to see the event or for support the event on the cut, the cut, cut Sweet Carolina Sweet, Open. No, but the charity thing. Sorry, charity. my English. No, the, absolutely. The charity. So if you want to play, go play. Or if not, go watch. Or if not, support with the charity. Yes, yeah. oh, absolutely. And you talked a little about you know, the whole world coming for this. You yourself are an international player. What is that like to come and, and play from uh, Mexico? Uh, it's very fun. Like I, you say, it's super fun. I really enjoy it. The people here from South Carolina make a very big effort for make this event possible. And it's, it's very fun to play. And I really appreciate all the effort they do for bringing all the professional players here. And I really hope people can go and, and enjoy it live because it's, it's very, very fun. And I know both of these Opens, they help to raise money for charities as well as empower women. Talk to me a little bit about that charity work, and you guys have a fundraiser coming up. Yeah, certainly. So this year we have elected to support two local charities, and we always try to focus on, on local uh, organizations. So we're supporting um, Carolina Concerns of Police Survivors. They help the families of um, police officers that died in the line of duty. Uh, and our second charity is Front Porch Housing. So they offer transitional housing uh, to people wanting to maintain sobriety, uh, employment, financial stability. Um, so every year we set a goal of about $20,000, and we're, we're looking to meet that again this year, which is, which is fantastic. Yeah, and then really quickly preview that mm -hmm. fundraising event happening in Certainly, April. yeah. So April 1st, uh, we have a Monte Carlo night. Tickets are available on our website. Uh, it includes food, drinks, and it's a lot of fun, um, and all the proceeds of that go to those two charities. So um, this will be the second year we do it, and uh, we look forward to it. Sounds like lots of opportunities to have fun as well as give back. So thank you both Certainly. so much for joining us today. Thank you. As a reminder, the Sweet Caroline Open is taking place the 4th through 7th in May, and the Greenville Open next month on the 18th and 19th. For more information, head to foxcarolina.com.